Okay, welcome back. Um, okay, right, we created the base um, template. Now I must stress that uh, this is just um, for training, for tutorial purposes, this design. It's not a design that I would go along with. There's quite a few things I want to change, but fundamentally all the parts we've created are um, good enough to create this site from. And also, in this site you might want to put your navigation buttons in here as well so basically get this finished and then I suggest you put it all on to layers and layer it so create different pages on the layers um, so have like home page about us I am running a Photoshop tutorial which I will um, show how I do um, concept designs that will be sent to client and I'm hopefully going to do that after this project so that will show you in much more detail how things could be laid out much more thoroughly but for this purpose this will do fine okay what we need to do now is to make sure that none of the layers were happy with it and none of the layers have got filters um, applied to them or layer um, not so much filters but the the layer properties up here which is layer styles because when we cut um, we crop certain things then the filter will crop with it and might give us unexpected results so flatten each layer if you've applied a filter I'll give you a demo here we'll um, take this one and I'll apply a layer style to this say a drop shadow if you've got that and you want to keep the drop shadow what you need to do is to come in here go to new layer and then simply take this layer oh, the layer hasn't, the property hasn't been applied to it let me apply it again okay there we go so you can see these effects we want to make sure that it's flattened once we're happy with it so take it and and if you think oh I might want I might want it back then just make sure you make a duplicate of picture 10 and apply that property and then turn the original off a bit like we did for the the Buddha picture which was down here which we're not going to use but we want it as part of the design file okay so to flatten this out we've created a new layer there underneath it so you pick picture, te picture 10 and then you go layer and you merge down once and that way you'll keep the properties of the drop shadow but it won't have a layer style um, associated with it okay right now we're ready to export all our parts so the first bit I'm going to take is um, the navigation area this side which I'm actually going to take in one block and export it out as one block now there's another way you could do this because these are going to be buttons I'm going to apply um, a button in flash over the top of this so I can export this as one layer but you might want to have individual buttons in which case you'll need to go in and um, basically cut all your images out and name them appropriately so you go in and cut that out cut the next one and then you could apply them as individual buttons within flash but for now we're going to use the crop tool which I've picked over here we're just going to make sure that we're cropping we're going to zoom in, so control plus, make sure we're nice and tight on this mask, which we should be, it kind of snaps to it, a little bit higher on this one maybe, I think it's fine, okay on that side, okay then I'm going to double click, and by the way make sure you save your project all the way through, so there we go we've got this, um, we're going to go back one step to, um, to get all our our stuff back but we want to export this now so I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go for save for web and we get the big box come up like this and I'm basically going to save it as a JPEG file uh, I'm gonna take it down a little bit to like 80 um, you can keep taking it down but remember if you take it right down the quality is going to be really really bad so I suggest about 60 to 75 I've done it 70 here and then I'm going to save this and I'm going to put it into my images folder and I'm going to call it nav block and just to make 
make sure I know what it is because you might have other nav block areas in there. This is the gallery nav block, which is on the right. And then I'm going to save that out. Now we need to get back to what we were before. So you need to use the history palette, which allows you to backstep. So we go to window, we go to history, and then we'll get a little box come up and you can step backwards. So it's taken us back to where we were. And now we need to take our logo. So I'm gonna bring that logo up here. Um, in this case, I'm gonna turn the background off. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna crop on here, like this. And because I wanna keep it transparent, 